My next project is going to be the restaurant and kitchen area and it's going to be this pink tile road for the most part but before I can get started moving buildings or doing any kind of fun design work I want to lay out the pathing and the road system. Let's take a look at the map. Because this is a long strip of land I want to make sure that I have my roads laid out and we're going to connect to some other areas like over here will be the purple road which will go to the museum and the bank area. But I want to pull the purple road down and then build a bridge across and then connect that to the pink road going down. And then I also want that to come across and connect behind the transit center. So there's a lot of connections going on and I'd like to get those laid out before I decorate the area. So that's what I'm going to work on. I made a lot of pink tile bath because on the map it doesn't look that far but it's it's gonna be a pretty long road actually and that'll be cool if we can stay in a straight line and I don't mind it uh, going up and down you know a couple of levels like here it starts at water level and then it goes up a couple and back down and I think that just gives it a little more interest especially since this is going to be a straight road and I'll just line out the outside edges and then fill it in so we can get the trees cleared and get everything evened out and I know I want to go at least to the back of the transit hub which will bring us I like the middle of this desert area looks like somewhere in here is my guess I want to put a couple of these down I might be off a few so I have to clear several trees here not too bad though yeah oh we're getting tired I did make some crab soup or it's let's eat some and see so the little gear there tells us it's diligent and our tools and weapons won't consume durability while we're eating the crab soup that's a great buff to have while you're building and i also brought a cup of sunshine because i don't want to work in the rain today there we go now if we can just get our energy back we'll be in good shape there we go okay there's a few more trees here i'm really going to focus on the outside edges here so that I don't use all my energy up at once, really is, is the main reason, but or use all my pathing up. I think we're gonna have plenty though. Let's see, I'm going to cut this down a little. Okay, we're already like halfway down to where we need to be. And I wanna level this off. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have to start getting rid of some rock. All right, that's a pretty clear path. It didn't really take very long at all. Oh, it looks like I was off by one here. It's pretty good. All right, Ellie, a brief rest. I'm going to go in the restaurant and get something else that might be better for energy. I'll take those scones, thank you, and some fairy bread. All right, I'm going to take out the rest of these trees and then probably sleep so I can have some daylight. Oh, got a beehive. And I think there's one more tree down here. And I have full pockets, so I'm just going to lay a path in the middle while I'm running back. Yeah, I'm probably going to need some more pathing and ramps when I return in the morning. Just fill in the rest of this road. Whoa, there's a thunder egg. Wow. Okay, I've got some more pink path. I should probably dump everything off from my pockets that I can and go finish my road. I'm gonna bring some coffee with me and I don't really need to carry any clothes or furniture on me, so put them away. So I just need to fill in the rest of the road here and that'll be it for the pink road. Oh yeah, we left some wood and seeds back here. Let's see. All right, that's filled in. And there's our pink road. Let's see the map. Yeah. And uh, next I'm going to do the purple road. It's going to run right along the river. So it's easier to make a bridge across. Yeah, right about here where the darker soil is. Cool. <laughs> Probably right up here, I think might be better than the short drop off here. Uh, we'll go across, across this way towards the river. It's going to connect the pink and purple road, which will be important. Looks like I'm going to need a lot more cement path. Okay, but I'm not sure where exactly the purple road will end up being on this side. I don't think I want it right up against the river. One away probably, or some kind of railing or fence or something. So yeah, here, I don't even know if one is enough because I do have to build a bridge. Oh, it'll be enough because I can, I know what I can do. I'll have to show you. I can put the pink pathway and where's that chainsaw? There it is. So it it's here is, yeah, where we want the purple path. Oh, 
I love it. It's so bright. And I'm going to, yeah, we're going to compact that. It's already going to be complicated enough. We don't need to add that. Okay, so that's the outside road. So I'm going to take this back. And instead of trying to figure out how to do a diagonal bridge, which is not going to happen, we're just going to run it alongside the river. All right, so two, three, four wide. Okay, here we go. And we want to get rid of these rocks. And we want to level this out because we're going to have a lot of things over here, like a kitchen and a parking area. And it probably needs to be flat anyway. Well, I'm going to level it out. And the rain should stop here at noon, I believe. And maybe we'll get a nice rainbow. Uh, yeah, okay. There's that cement road I started. It's clearing up. I don't see a rainbow yet, but it's nice and blue and bright now. All right, there's our stopping point for the purple road. Two, three, four, and then we're just going to fill it in. I think it's a good process to lay out roads to create boundaries for yourself if, if you know what you're building or even if you don't because it can be overwhelming because our islands are so huge. But I'm creating these like blocks and areas with my colored paths. They kind of let me know what my boundaries are for that build. But then when I get them all together, it'll be, they'll just start to, hmm, well, we're short one purple, one purple tile. Okay, anyway, so the areas will start to kind of, um, I don't know, mix together and mingle and grow together. That's the idea anyway. Okay, so we've got the purple road, the pink road. So now we're gonna have the roads that connect them and I'm gonna need a lot more cement pathing for that. And also <laughs> one purple tile. Did I get any more stone? Oh, one. I'm pretty sure I need to make a ton of cement. Well, I have some, but I probably should still make some more. Okay, we'll start with that. I also need some ramps. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> my pockets are full. Okay, purple path and ramps and cement path. I also need cobblestone road, but I do have quite a bit of my inventory, so I'm going to start with that. Oh, I had some keys ready. I'm trying to get those keys together, you know. There we go. All right, I'll drink some coffee. We can move fast. Whoa. See, even just the purple path being there, I could see it from this blue path, and I know that that's going to go to another location. It's very cool. And there's my one purple path. <laughs> This is also going to go over over the river, over there. We can build up some pretty established buildings with our museum and our bank. But first, we want to work on this eatery because it's super necessary now with the new buffs. All right. Okay. So purple road, cement road, over to the pink road. Perfect. And I want another road. Hmm. Well, about halfway. And I'm like, what is halfway anyway? <laughs> Oh man, I think actually this road needs to come even further down. Like that's where we're going to cross over um, connecting this island, going across here to this island, straight across. So I will find, make sure that the end of the pink road, let's see, is that enough? One, two, three, four. Now I've heard rumors that the tape measure will go a lot further than it used to. So let's test it out. Yes, I used to stop at 16. We're still going. There's 28. Oh my goodness. That's exciting. <laughs> okay. I get excited over silly things, I know. But it makes a big difference. Okay. Oh man. Still didn't fix the clicking though. Okay. Check that out. That's 29 squares, which also tells me I need a lot more cement path, which I should have known. And this is going to come... See, that's not even right, though, because we don't want to run into that little workshop back there. How am I going to make these connect? I'm going to have to come right behind it. Two, three, four. It's going to, yeah, it's going to be really tight, actually. So try this out. Can we go under the water with the tape measure? Because I need it to start here. And yeah, that didn't, didn't do what I want it to do. But that's okay. It was here, right? There. Yep, that's accurate. Okay. One, two, three. Four. So that's actually where we want to be. I mean, that'll that'll be fine because it's that's kind of funny actually because that's where I ended the pink road and the cement road is going to go straight across to the other uh, the land on the other side of that river. So yeah, it's like I did that on purpose. <laughs> sure. 
All right, I'm gonna have to get more. So I'm just gonna mark some edges here and we'll have to purple. Cool, it's gonna go all the way down. Well, he's upset. Look at him throwing a fit. I wish I had a trap on me. Take out some trees, compact this down. Okay, I guess this is where the road will drop down. Yeah, so I can put my ramps here and clear this up. A little fussel. And I think I will want this to be up higher because I'll need a bridge. Okay, we're just getting that shaped out and that'll be good for a bridge. Well, let me take this up. Because of the angle of the bridge, it's going to have to span pretty far. So I'm going to pull it out as far as I can here. I think that's it. Get rid of that rock. Cool. So the bridge will go there. Oh, this is really cool. And then it'll come wrap around the back of the transit hub and then go north, connect to this road that's been stubbed out and then go up to the white road here. Just like that. Nice. And level this out. Dark again already. And that crock is still hanging out right there. Come on, dude. Well, I didn't want to do this, but he left me no choice. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm looking this way. I need a lot more cement path and then some purple as well to go this way. I wish I could trade the extra pink tile I made for some purple, but that's okay. I'll make some more. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some chests for our workspace because I keep filling up. That should do it. Now I had a little bit of purple in there. Okay. Cement, cement, cement. Mm, I think I'm gonna run out of purple paint. That's okay, we'll fill it in when we can. As long as we can get the outline done. Should be good. And that won't be enough cement. I wish I had a machine that could just run while I'm away working, <laughs> making cement. I need a cement truck. Okay, now our road is complete. We've got the purple tile road and the pink tile road running alongside each other and then the cement two cement roads connecting them. And if we look at the map, the bottom one is gonna cross over to this section and over behind the transit center and connect up to this road, which will then connect up to the future farming district. And we go back, you can see these sections that I've created with the roads. And what I wanna do is put the tucker box here at the end of this road. It's kind of up, up on a hill a little bit. And over here, we're going to make a kitchen and then a parking area and another little um, like a bakery kind of with sweet treats. And then we'll just have patio seating all over the place and it'll bring all these spaces together. That's a big project, but we've got the foundation laid for it and it's going to be great. Today, we're going to get the Tucker box moved right here. It's going to connect to this bridge and we're going to center the tucker box up here and i want it to be surrounded by trees and shade so i'm going to go ahead and shape it and since the tucker box is seven wide i was looking at this bridge and there's seven so we can center it with this three three wide road However, I believe I'm going to want the steps to get up to it on the sides. So that's my plan today. Let me clear out the land a little and then we can get the deed to move it before it gets too late. Got ourselves another beehive. Just leave it over there. Okay, so looking at this middle right here, I'm going to leave a couple of spaces for a fence or railing and maybe line the front with, with something. So. We don't have a lot of room to work with and this was going to be if we were to go here it is you know i might be mistaken i think it's nine wide and seven deep like that and that looks pretty good i think i want to move it back one more just to give us maybe two give us some room in the front to maybe add some signs and small trees or flowers so nine is not going to center well it is two can have three on either side three 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 so that means we want it to be here and let's do this again seven by nine and that will be centered so that if you're coming up this pathway then you will see the tucker box i really didn't even plan for it to line up with the airport but that's what's happening and that's that's okay i'm gonna add another row or two here 
I want it to be up on like a deck kind of look. And I think what will make it interesting is that the sides will, will drop off, uh, drop down. We'll have a, a winding staircase like a deck would have kind of. Okay, let's start with that. I'm going to go get the deed and grab some pathing and save Sheila from this crock pond here. I want to move a building. The Tucker Box. Okay. And as I'm leaving Town Hall, this is kind of how I will do the side staircase down at the Tucker Box. Let's see, while I'm here, I want to check how the pink will look with the gumwood. Because I'm looking at it's a little orange. I'm not sure if that's going to look good. Mm, not great. So maybe that's not what I want to use there. Bring some hardwood brick along with the pink. I think I'll need a little bit more. Not much. Might add a little bit of red. Just accents. Tucker Box also has green on it, but not this vibrant neon green. So if I wanted to add green that way, I would probably use mossy green. I don't have a lot of that either, but for accents, I think this could work. I'm going to bring this hedge and hardwood. See what we got so far. Let's take the heli this time. It's not really all that far anymore, is it? All right, this is where the majority of the building will be. I might go brick there because I have the most of that. That's where the tucker box will go. The center lines up. Perfect. Hmm, which way do you go? I need to go look at the building. Okay, it's actually six. I was one off, so I'll push it backwards. Looks good. Okay, so I really want to have some fun with this. Let's see what we can come up with, kind of shape the area. Okay, so maybe we can do a brick pillar and hardwood for the flooring. That. And then here, I'm going to put, I think it's just enough spaces for tucker box. Plant flowers in front. Maybe some lily pilly trees because they're short and pretty. Up here, I want to plant trees because I want it to be shady and yeah, that'll be cool. That's cool. And then let's see. I probably should pick up some more hardwood. Take inventory before I go back to the workshop to make some things. Ooh, free meat. I'm trying to think of lighting as well. Probably up on these corners. Stone lanterns, possibly. I know there is light coming off of the, the Tucker Box building. I could see it back there. All right, that's looking good. Let's see what kind of trees I should plant in there. I need some good lighting. Put this guy on the charge. Oh no, there's free meat in our workshop. Eat. All right, I need to process some logs and cement. All right, I'm going to hit the hay. We'll see what the Tucker Box looks like in the morning. Okay, it's a new day. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, cool. All right, that looks good up there. Let's, oh yeah, cool. So now we just gotta decorate it. I'm worried about the pink, but the, like the window trim and the sign have kind of a pink tint. So I think that looks pretty good. And I want to put Tucker Box up here. Cool, like that. That's fun. I think I need to go see Rain in a bit so we can get some jacarandas here. They're tall and good for shade. Okay, now I have to start thinking about how I'm going to step down on the sides. And I wonder if Sheila's lost. We moved her building. I don't see her. Well, she should find her way back. I'm going to finish clearing the area so we can replant trees where we want them. Uh-oh. Oh no, I threw it too far. Ugh, trouble. Always trouble. Go away. All right. Oh, maybe I can catch the bee since I broke the hive. Okay. Okay, Tucker Box. And I brought some lights. want to do lights, of course. And likely we'll need a lot more steps like that. It's really not up that high that we have to uh, make a back and forth staircase. We just have a multi-level deck maybe for some more seating. Mm. I need to decorate the front. Let's see. Let's go get some flowers. All right, let's get a jacaranda here. Thank you. Oh. I don't have enough money. Huh? How embarrassing. Uh, the bank is closed. Change of the plans. So it looks like I already have two jacaranda. That's good since I don't have any money. I have money in the bank, but it's Saturday. So I think I'll do jacaranda and um, blackwood seeds and a lily pillies. Mm, take my dirt printer. Okay. All right. Look at that. We're going to come right up on the building. Cool. Mm, wonder if I should move the letters down. 
and put the flowers above. Let's see which looks better. These are going to be tall. Yeah, that's not going to work. We can't see the words. Mm -mm. Let me see. can bury them. And I wanted... Oh, there's Sheila. Or her face, anyway. That's good. She found her way. Let's put in some fern. Orchids. Blue buttons. I know, I'm coming with your stairs. Hold on. Okay, the stairs across. I think that looks cute. I mean, the other way would be to put the letters on the bottom. Here, I'm going to do box with the letters on the bottom so I can decide. So box and hmm, I think I like the first way better. Yep. All right. Cool. Sometimes you don't know until you try. And we're going to bury the carandas in the corner. Get those going because they take a while. And I'm going to plant uh, blackwoods in the back. They're really tall, so we'll make an impact like that. Nice. Okay, now this is going to come out to mm, like a dining area, patio kind of thing. Nice. Mm, I don't really like the way that looks. What about hedges? Oh, Fletch made her way over here. That's cool. I do like the hedges on the top, framing those words out pretty well. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, we got another visitor. Oh, a bunch of them. <laughs> They're finding their way slowly. Over here, you guys. Come on. See, I have to get the pathing down. They're going to take this brick pathing. John is going to... Yep, that's funny. See, how big should this be? Oh, I want to take this out and take that out. And I guess I'll just square this off here. All right. That's a pretty good size. I think we want that to be dark wood. Hardwood. Mm, that's nice. Oh, it looks like rain made her way a different way. Mm, that's why I want to get all these roads laid out and connecting. Let's see. Who's missing? Erwin? Ooh, we could buy a burger now. Erwin and Franklin are missing. I wonder if they're on their way. Let's see. What should I put on this brick? Mm, I could put white hibiscus. And I need some fencing around here. Oh, hey, John. Good day. <laughs> oh, they're all confused now. Where do we go? Hi. Go the other way. Uh, we'll get it all figured out. I think that's going to look really nice, though. Get some more fencing and flooring and figure out table settings. Make a little pattern. Oops. I, what did I just push? Well, I don't know. I don't like that pattern. Hmm, I might have to jump over and sleep at the airport. Oh, I can't even do that. How funny. Oh, some stuff went down over here. Whoa, it's Theodore. All right, let's call it a day. Oh, the tucker box is looking fantastic. The trees are starting to come up and we've got our platforms on either side, our decks, if you will, outdoor dining. Here's the menu. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. Put in more trees. Let's see if there's opportunity for any more. I'm going to wait and see how those look. And it looks like we've got two different sizes of jacarandas. And I like that about it, though, because trees are never exactly the same, even if you plant them at the same time. And again, over here, it's the same as the other side. So I just need to put in some furniture. I need some tables and stools or chairs and maybe a couple umbrellas. I really like the look of the front of it. Tucker box. Cool. So I've put some furniture in one of these boxes. Here we go. Hardwood tables. Here's some umbrellas. Um, I think that's all. I, I did order some red stools. We'll see how they look. So that means four tables on either side, evenly spread out. Uh, the X's drive me crazy. And then uh, I was thinking maybe umbrella. I was going to put it in the middle, but there's no clear middle. So we stagger them, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. On the outside, maybe? Also, I need to decide between red and green. But I thought since I had green over there at the airport, I would do red. And I believe I ordered the red stools that are like in the tucker box. These here. Ooh, what's that? Tucker box special. Caviar. Oh, I have no caviar. I didn't even know it existed. Wow. All right. Cool, new stuff. All right, I need to go check my mailbox or a mailbox. Well, here's a mailbox. This will do. Yes, I ordered some things. 
just a little bit. Uh, red bar stools and register. It looks like I'm short a bar stool because it said 15. Hmm, I might even need more than that. Well, let's put them down and see what they look like on this side. I want to put, I'm putting two on each side, but I probably want four, I would think. So I need to order a lot more. But one thing is you can only put food on mm, two sides and this could get really crowded if I put them up against each other like that. Think, think, think. Um, what if I have the tables closer, two stools, and then one umbrella in between them? Like that. I like that. It kind of simplifies it a little. Yeah, and then it clears well, the pathway a little more. I see another X or two. Whoa, okay. Oh, a key. I like when that happens. Okay, I like this layout. And maybe we could put plant there, flowers, or light, hmm. or both. <laughs> Gotta love the glow buttons. Let's see. Hmm. Which one do we like? This one isn't as obvious, but privacy. I think I like it sunken though. You're not going to get privacy at an outdoor restaurant. Okay, there's our table settings. And then we'll pick out some food to put on them. It's really cute. Okay, I'm just trying to remember what it looks like so I can replicate it on this side. And I think I'm going to be short a stool. But I could borrow one from uh, my from my kitchen and my storage area. And then make a spot out, dig a hole, dump off the dirt, <laughs> flower box, glow button, flower box, glow button, and then a red umbrella, red umbrella. And then we want another table and our other table. And this is where we're gonna run out of a stool, but we'll get another one. And I was thinking of having a little, uh, like a market stall to the side with drinks and a register. You know, like you could walk up to the bar and get a drink outside. Um, so I need a red market stall and up to 16 food settings, food and drink mixed. Uh, that should be good. I definitely need to plant more trees out here. Let's grab some. Why not? Like we don't want to block the pathways, but maybe we can line some with, let's see, lily pillies, stone lanterns. Okay. And I can do brick road over to that cement road. Um, I think, well, I'm gonna just flatten it, but I think I'm gonna curve the road because I don't wanna run into that um, ramp there. Or I can move the ramp. I could probably back it up a little. Let's have some sparkin' soup. <laughs> Should keep our compactor going. What else can we eat? Crab soup? We have a ton of fruit salad. I mean, it's a lot of buffs up there. <laughs> probably not exactly the right combination, but we're learning. All right, we're gonna move that ramp back a couple just so we can make our pathway pretty. Ah, short one brick. It keeps happening to me. Kind of funny. Okay, take these down and move them back to this. Wait, I have more brick. Why didn't it stack? That's odd. Lily pilly seeds. And I have another idea because I discovered something recently. If I can find it, I see one or two or three. So these trees, the grass trees, we can cut them now. Well, <laughs> that wasn't smart. There it is. I got a grass tree seed pod. I guess you don't get them every time. Mm, I only got one out of those three. Let's try a couple more because I want to plant them on that pathway. Uh-oh, I'm not getting the seeds though. There's another. So how many did I get? I got two and I'm not even sure really because I've only done it once, but when I did it before, I got three seeds out of that pod. So there's another. Okay, so I'm going to go try it now. There's the red stool, but I don't want to steal it. I might have to borrow it. Oh, no, I have one in my storage. Good job, Ellie. Okay, I'm going to set this campfire down and take this grass seed pod and insert and see what happens. Let's see. Going to do anything? Oh, I got company. There's one. Look, it's a grass tree seed. One. Uh oh, it's gonna rain. Oh no. There's another seed popped out. Well, at least the rain doesn't put the fire out. And there's another. So we got three grass tree seeds. We want to do the rest of these. Okay, I got my seeds. I got nine grass tree seeds. Okay, let's put down our extra stool. There it goes. And then where should we put this little bar that I have an idea for? Just off to the side, right? Like that. And we've got some bottle brush and a register. There we go. 
can order a drink if you like. Oh, Melvin's up for it. Even in the rain. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we're working on this path over here. Wait, I had had something I noticed. I forgot to put my hedges back here. There we go. Okay, I was going to alternate grass tree. Hmm. Let's do stone lantern and maybe a grass tree see here. Because we don't have a lot of them yet or ever because, well, we should add some to a tree farm, obviously. That's pretty well lit, I think. Okay, we're going to bury them. I don't know. It might be too much, but I mean, the tucker box is looking pretty fancy these days. So Okay, and then since there's water coming in here, I'm probably going to fit put a little fence here so nobody gets hurt. Maybe fill in these first two holes. Oh, my dirt printer's a goner. I'll just use the shovel. Okay, I think that'll be a nice path over here. And remember this, this road's going to go behind the airport, the transit center on the map. And then it's going to come up to the farming area. So that might be a faster way for Rain and Irwin to come over. So it's complete. Uh, then going over here and then down. It's probably about the same distance, but we'll see what they do. So there's a path on that side. I wonder, should we have a little bar area over here too? You okay, Melvin? There's Clover. Ah, I just love that they make their way over here. I think some of these might be good for the table settings. Prime roast, it's expensive. I think that's nice lighting, you know? It's good dining lighting. Dining lighting. All right, we need a path on this side too, don't we? Don't we, Melvin, because you're lost. I guess it should go that way. He's turning around. I want to see where he goes. I mean, this makes the most sense, dude. Maybe I should connect the pink and the white and then pull a path down. We can make this go straight across. I'm going to try to keep these rocks. I think that's interesting around the river. It's time for sleep. It's a new day. Uh, oh, look at the trees. I just get so excited when the trees start getting mature. Look at that. It's going to be so pretty. Let's see. We want to put some of these meals into the food modeler are our table settings. Let's see, we have fish and chips, prime roast, meat pie, cheesy spag. So that's one, two, three, four. You can do a couple of coffees, some waddle brew, jelly brew, a coconut drink, coffee. And so that's two coffee, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What else can we make? That's some hearty stew salad. And I like this pumpkin soup. It looks cute. That's some dessert. Okay, let's do those and that should be good. Stew, salad, soup, scones, pavlova. I think I'll do one fruit salad. Okay, charge up this dirt printer. Uh, compactor seems okay for uh, make another market stall. Cool. We have four white paint. Let's see if we have any in the box already. Nope. We'll see how far that gets us. Did I fill my pockets up? Pretty much. Pretty much. Ooh, there's a new furniture item. Cabin bedside table. How cute is that? I need it. Thank you. Is this a black wall? I don't think I've ever seen a black wall. Charcoal wall. Thank you. I'm going to take this teapot. I might be able to use it. Okay. I had to check the shops. Back to work. Ooh. Spark and soup in the trash. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to straighten. Not straighten, but I'm going to push this road here. This white tile out this way and that'll get interesting but we can ramp it up somehow yeah and i'm gonna run out i know it i need to go to the island i'm gonna take out the middle the middle and put it on the outside so is this bug i think this bug is sparkling and i don't have oh i do have a net let's see look at that <laughs> i thought it was sweating at first but it has little stars let's grab it <gasps> i got a ruby shard from a pygmy fly that's interesting. Uh, yes, please. Let's drop these belly buttons. Okay, that's a cool new thing. White tile. Okay, so this this road is going to connect here. And our color path system is coming together. So cool. Okay, so then is that far enough for this path? I think so. Okay, so that'll go to there. I made it too wide. It's only supposed to be two tiles wide, not three. I'm still going to be short though. Okay. But we know where our path is going, so that's good. And I'm going to dish out all this food. Okay, who had the hearty stew? <laughs> There's going to be so much food out. Uh, see, having them on one side works because, you know, there's only room for one 
on each side. So like that. Huh, <laughs> that looks cool. Uh, I wish I had fish and chips. Yum. Okay, so this table is going to have a meat pie and this person just wanted some coffee. And then over here, maybe somebody is celebrating and they have pavlova and some jelly brew. Cool. What else do we have? Yeah, these people wanted a salad and a fruit salad. How about that? They're so colorful. Look at those salads. A lot of detail there. And we're going to need to order another register for the other side. Okay. And what do they sell on this side? Uh, coconut? Coconut drinks? Okay. Somebody had some prime roast and pumpkin soup. That's where I thought maybe there's a kettle or that they refill the drinks with. Maybe. Or, you know, coffee bar, maybe. Okay. Over here, we just had some drinks. Maybe that. Well, hold on. Because there's two glasses. So two people. So we have room for three more items. Hmm. Where's the scones? Ah, forgot the scones. Put them with the cool drink. Yum. I could leave one table empty. Like, we only have one table open right now. <laughs> oh, how are these trees looking? It looks like these are going to take a little bit longer than these. I like it. I have some rope fence. Maybe that's where we put it around this. I'll need more. Oh, maybe... Maybe the hardwood crude fence, because we have some up front. And I think I'm pretty short on vines right now. So this matches the aesthetic more. <laughs> I want a tall tree there. So let's get some seeds. Put one right here and back here. And gum nut here. One. Mm, put another one. That's nice and green. Um, I think I'm going to put some kind of rock path here in between. Ah, oh, Sheila having some soup. Oh, it's raining again. Okay, so I have some different pathing, even some of the new ones. See what we like in between. I don't think it'll be this one. Definitely going to use that for the parking area across the way. Probably that one. Otherwise, rock edge path. If I could put it under the tree, that would be good. But otherwise, it's just a little circle. But you know what might look cute there? Like a little flower in the middle of this guy from over here. You know, like it had like a little edging around. Maybe not that one. <laughs> We don't have any others. We didn't bring any more flowers. Come orchids everywhere. Huh. No, I have to think about that. It's a fun idea. So when I have multiple, I will put the big rocks. And then when there's one, we'll do the rock edge and then put a flower in the middle. But some of my hardest decisions are like, but which flower? I think kind of thinking a flannel flower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go grab some, some options. And it's very good that this is lit up so much when it's raining like that. Oh my gosh. Look at this from the new heights of the alley. We know exactly where to land from way up here. Whoa. In the rain too. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Gonna go right here. We Nice. Okay. I'm looking at them now. I'm thinking flannel flower. And another option is birds of paradise maybe. I think it's going to be flannel flower. Okay, now looking at it, I kind of am um, going to change my mind. It's the birds of paradise, right? I think so. Oh, I like it. Nice. Okay, I think we're going to need one more day to get this other path done. And then grass. And the tucker box will be nice and done, really. It's, it's kind of a long area. All of this space right here. It's pretty cool. Oh, they're popping out of there now. It's kind of weird how they, hmm, they're not sure at first, maybe. And they all just fall out of the restaurant. <laughs> all right. How lost are you are going to be today? Hi. Oh, I think that the path isn't actually complete. Get there and see if it helps them. Oh my gosh. There you go. He's going to find his way slowly. And John wants more drinks. Hey, John. <laughs> oh, look who's coming back for more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Such characters. Oh, look at the trees coming up. I might have to dirt print that little area and pull some trees out, I think, in the back. I don't know. It looks okay. Let's see. Looking good. Oh, uh-oh. Free meat. Okay, so side entrance. I might have to get more grassy. Uh, what did I have left? Four of them. Or maybe we just do something different on the other side. Okay, time to decorate the other path. And compactor. I think that's a much longer path anyway. That one's not as long. Okay, starting with some lanterns and stick those. Lily pilly. Oh, lily pilly. 
kind of spreading these out more because it's probably just going to be trees in here. Yeah, oops. just kind of spreading them out. It's not really a, a pattern per se, but I think it's going to look great. Cool. So we got the whole path and then this isn't isn't going to go here. Just going to get more white tile, white paint. So this can go up here and I think I'm going to have to play with this to make it look right. But that's how it goes. But our path on this side looks good. I'm going to put some trees up here. We're going to go with not that these coral coral acacia here and there. They're big and fluffy. Mix in some gumwood trees and then I'll grass this area. And I won't mow the top, but I'll mow the bottom. I think that's a good look. Get rid of these these bones. Go we'll grab the grass from our grass farm. I'm just gonna grass this. Nice. And that should grow in. It'll have some some overgrown grass like this, and maybe some flowers will appear. I'll have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't grow any pine trees. And I probably want more trees here, but more in a line. They were on purpose. Let's see, cool. And then throw down the grass. I guess we can grass over bones. That's funny. Not sure that's the look we want going up to our restaurant. And the kitchen's going to be on this other side over here. <laughs> so I'll get rid of those. Pretty. All right. No more bones. And this side. I don't know what I'm going to do in this corner. So I might just grass this a couple of rows and then I don't know, figure out what to do there later. I thought I could grass around this. See, on this side, there's one. It's not letting me. Uh. I don't want to get rid of it. Nice. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break to go check the shops or the clothing shop anyway. Mm, are these orange shoes? Yeah, thank you. I want to put them on. Huh, <laughs> cute. Okay, I'll just sprinkle some trees out here for my blackwood seeds. Okay, I was trying to be <laughs> sporadic about that and they ended up being in a zigzag, except this guy. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on them, see if I like them when they come up. I kind of want to pull this in a little so it's not so straight. Yeah, cool. I believe how fast the grass goes when you're spreading it. I had 400 and now I have 57. Uh, all right, I'm out of grass seed. But look at this development. Oh my God. It's just, mm, it's so pretty. It's like, I don't know. It's a fancy restaurant I'd want to go. It's a whole ambiance out here next to the river. Get all these trees coming up. It's pretty to walk up to it. Mm -hmm. This side looks good too. It's going to be dark soon and we could see the lighting on the path. Mm, let's look at it from above. Jump on this heli. Let's go straight up. We can go so high now you can really, really see everything. Oh, that's cool. It looks good. Like who knew that pink path could look that good? <laughs> let's see. What if we pull back? Here? Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, well that's the Tucker box. What are we going to do next? 